live now. Hi guys, uh, my name is Elias, and I'm a core developer for Mattermost. Mainly, I've been focused on developing the React Native app. So, one one of the things that I'm gonna talk to you about is writing platform-specific code for the React Native app, just because sometimes you need the app to render different components uh, for iOS and for Android, or just to make it work as expected in, in the different platforms, right? So basically, there are two ways to use platform-specific code. One is by using a platform module that uh, is available in React Native. And the other way of doing this is by writing uh, specific platform code. Uh, and you, you can use like different file extensions. So React Native picks the one uh, that you need automatically, right? So for the platform module, we have basically three things that we want to use, right? Like the first one is uh, platform.os. And basically what that does is uh, with that, you can identify which platform is running your code either it's iOS or Android. So with that, it will just return you like a string that says is iOS or is it Android? And with that, you can do whatever you need. So for instance, in this, uh, in this example, you'll see that we are basically setting the height of the whatever style we're using depending on the um, on the platform. So if it's iOS, it will be 200. If it's Android, it will be 100, right? Now, there, there are times that you'll need to know the version of your Android device, right? Just because in Android, there are some things that work on one version and work in a different way in another version, stuff like that. So by doing platform.version, that's all you need to know the number of the SDK, basically, that is running on that device. In this case, it's really simple. It's running Nougat. Uh, so you can do this for Lollipop, for KitKat, and so on. Uh, we haven't used this in our app so far, but it's something that you need to be aware of if you're going to write platform-specific code. Now, the other thing that it's provided by the module is uh, platform select. And with this, you can you, what you do is basically, well, in this case, you can select a component depending on the um, platform that is running your app. Right, so uh, in this case, it's doing a require, but I'm gonna show you guys in, a, in just a few minutes uh, that we actually use the select uh, function uh, basically to pick a different style sheet depending on the platform. So this is another, one of the things that we actually use it. And then the second way is the specific extensions, right? So what you need to do is basically uh, you have your file or your file name, and then add as an extension .ios.js or .android.js. And when you import that component or file or whatever um, with your JavaScript, Right, you just do it in the regular way, like in the normal way. You just don't include any extension in it. And React Native is smart enough to know which one of those it will pick up. Right. So um, 
right now I'm going to show you a little bit of code so you can see what's the difference. And then I'm going to show you the end result. OK, so for instance, yeah, let's start with this. So for instance, we, this is the main, um, the main file that will open uh, the Mattermost mobile app, right? And in here, we have things like, for instance, if it's Android, just do this. Or if the platform is iOS, then you know we're using iOS specific components in here to you know listen for events and stuff like that. Uh, right, so in this case, we're using platform.os from right just to know what needs to be done in, 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 in different scenarios. Now, uh, in this component, right, which is the input box that you get at the bottom for writing uh, your post, right. For the styles, as I told you earlier on, we're using platform select. In this case, is so if it's iOS, the height is going to be 34, or if it's Android, it's going to be 36. So it's super simple to do, right? And you can see how the other styles are just regular styles. And here we have it again, right? So if it's uh, for iOS, the margin is going to be two or if it's under, it's going to be zero, and so on and so on. OK? And then this one is for platform-specific uh, file extensions. So as you can see here, I'm importing this search bar from app component search bar, right? No extensions whatsoever. And then I just go ahead and you know use my component. Like just the way I wanted to, right? And you can see here our set search bar here, right? Which is in this root, right? It has an index, then it has an dot Android JS file and a dot I, uh, iOS JS file. So the index, what it does is just this, right? Nothing major. So what this will do is we'll pick, depending on the platform, uh, either the Android one or the iOS one. So for Android, is this component right here, right? And for iOS, this component right here. Now, one thing that I'm going to say is that when you do this, try to make your props uh, basically as try and make them as close as possible right so for instance if i'm going to use uh, a function for on focus trying to have it on both places so if it if in one of the components doesn't do anything just declare a default prop and make it not do anything, uh, right? So what I show you right here is basically, and I'm going to show you in the app running, right? It's the search bar. So you can see how we have a search bar here in iOS, right? That when I click on it, you know, it does this and behaves like this. And the same one, on iOS and on Android, it's a little bit different, right? You can see how, in this case, it has the cancel, but for Android, it's just the back arrow, right? And, you know, to clear is this X, but on iOS is this shape of X and stuff like that. So that's what you accomplish with uh, platform-specific code, right? Uh, and that's basically it. There, there's nothing much to it. It's just be aware what actually what you need for the different platforms, and and you have all the tools to make it work. And yeah.
that's basically it. Don't forget that you can reach us at prerelease.mitermost.com. And when you join, don't forget to also join the channels, developers, contributors, Redux, and native mobile apps. And that's all, folks. Thank you very much.